love this theme of beauty. And we always talk about beauty in the ashes or beauty in the bad things in life. You know, there's a flower sticking up from the concrete. We're happy to, to celebrate that flower because that's life. That's our essence. And we are um, talking about a paragraph today um, and we're going to discuss it. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of question and answer about things. So this is the paragraph. Um, so this is from my Laurel's Learning Lab group on um, WhatsApp. If you guys want to join, you're welcome to. Um, it's getting bigger and bigger now. I've invited some old friends and we're doing some good discussions there now. So um, would you like to go first, Victoria? Yes. Um, okay. So uh, real, beauty, real beauty is not to be confirmed to conventional beauty standards, but it's the one's inner self. Your inner, inner self is the person you are inside. Hold on. <laughs> Real beauty is on the is on the inside, which is more important more important than one's outward appearance. One looks good with external looks, but is no better in terms of internal features of personality which is based on, on one's emotional, intellectual, and spiritual qualities. Good job. Inner, be inner beauty is something on which a person needs to pay attention because as he gets on with his life, all deeds and actions are drawn, are drawn from that inner beauty. And the need is to acknowledge um, hence the need to acknowledge and improve inner beauty to lead life successfully. All right. So first of all, your pronunciation was good. I mean, you you know, you have your Brazilian accent and that's fine. The, the word that I want you to practice is conformed. Conformance. Yeah, so the first sentence, read, real beauty is not to be conformed to conventional beauty standards. So conformed is when you are like somebody else. You conform to their rules. You give them what they want. You say, okay, you want me to look this way, I will. Or I want me to do this, I will. So if we're conforming to the world's or the conventional beauty standards, we're saying, <clears throat> I need to have long flowing hair and I need to have beautiful clothing on and my makeup always done, right? Because everybody on Instagram looks perfect. So that is the world standard, right? So we decide, I don't need to look like that. I can look like me. I can put my hair in little cute ponytails. I can wear big glasses and I look cute, right, Victoria? Yes, that's yeah. you and I love that about you. So um, when you don't conform to other people's standards, you show your inner beauty. So this is your inner beauty. Your inner self is the person inside. So it's more important than the outward appearance. Um, and it says here, it's known better in terms of internal features of personality, which is based on your emotional, intellect, intellectual, and spiritual qualities, which are what we always talk about, right? So inner beauty is something on which a person needs to pay attention because everything in life is drawn from that inner beauty. If I didn't care about you guys, I would not have gotten up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, you know, I, I want to make this class successful and I want to help you guys with your pronunciation and I want to, uh, I've committed to doing it. So that's why I'm here. That's, that's my inner beauty <laughs> is my commitment, right? You can call anything that you want to like your commitment, your passion, your compassion for people, you know, the difference between passion and compassion, right? Who wants to comment on that? Said. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, there's my term. No, I wanted to ask if you knew the difference between compassion and passion. Compassion and what? And passion. Yeah, I know about the compassion. Uh, compassion means how we can uh, show the gratitude to with the people. Yeah. Yeah. And so how, how we, you show? Yeah. You help people. Gra yeah, help people, and how we can stay positive in in society, in family, with friends, in friendship, and every place. Yeah. This is compassion. Yeah. Yeah. I know you help, have a lot of help every place. Compassion. Help every place. What was that? Help every place. That means compassion. Yeah. <laughs> um, so compassion is how you feel. Com means with in Latin. So that means you feel with the other people. Okay. Passion is a little different because passion is <clears throat> something that is like a feeling inside that you can't take away. Like Victoria mm. has a passion for dancing. She has a passion for ballet. She has a passion for helping people, you know, express themselves in that way. Um, she may have compassion for other people in her life in different areas. Like you have compassion when you see a man on the street and he has a bucket and says, please help me. You know, if you give him a, you know, nickel or whatever, then you're showing him compassion. You're saying, oh, I understand your situation. You know, I may not have been there. But I understand maybe you have sympathy for him. So sympathy and compassion are similar. And um, so if I have sympathy for your plight or your problem, then I will help you any way I can. You know, not taking away anything from me that I need. Like I can't give you the food off my own table, but I will give you the extra food that I have um, so you can eat. And that's compassion. And then sometimes, you know, people are sacrificial and they might, you know, maybe you, Syed, have given everything that you have to these kids. And, you know, what do I do now? But we also have to think about how can I help you if I can't help myself? So we don't want it to go too far. <laughs> um, yes, but I think compassion is a really important quality. And that's part of your inner beauty. That's part of your character. It's part of your um, yeah you know, what, who you are and how you treat people. Passion is really liking what you do, or, you know, we can also talk about passion in a marriage or passion in a, you know, in, in anything else, but yeah. passion yeah. is the zeal inside yourself. Compassion is how you feel about other people that are maybe not as fortunate as yourself. Yeah. Just, I would like to give one example. In these yeah. days we, we have a campaign. Uh, per, um, per kids and this day me and my friends and some teachers we are combined uh, to uh, collect some uh, some uh, clothes and for example like coat uh, coats and jackets for, for, for kids especially for kids we are trying to uh, collect this uh, in 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 our town uh, right and i think this is compassion and uh, is. i have yeah i have more passion for this yes exactly yeah. Yeah. Very good. You understand. Yes. Assad, would you like to say hi to us? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you doing today? Hi, everybody. Yeah, good. So, how what country say? are you from? Uh, I'm from Sudan, but now I live in uh, Oman. Oh, wow. I, That's great. I work uh, in Oman. What yeah. are you doing there? Just working in the oil field. Okay, that's great. Who would like to read um, next? Now that we talked a little bit, who wants to do it? And let's see, I have Abu, Victoria and Chris and Assad and that's Sayed. it. Assad, just put your information in, you're good. And Sayed. Yeah, can I read it? Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, real beauty is not the is not to be conformed to con conventional beauty standards, but it is uh, to one's inner self. Your inner self is the person you are inside. Real real beauty is one that is on the inside, which is more important than one's outward appearance. One looks good with external looks but it's now better in 
terms on the internal noun feature? Noun, not noun. I'm sorry, not known. Yeah, mm -hmm. known better yeah. is to be terms of internal features of the personality, which is uh, based on one's uh, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual qualities. Inner beauty is something on which, uh, which a person needs to pay attention because as he gets on with his life, all deeds and actions are drawn from that inner beauty. Hence, the, the needs is to uh, acknowledge and improve inner beauty to lead life successfully. All right, very good. There's some difficult words in there. And so <clears throat> you pretty much said them all correctly. Um, the ones that I think are, are troubling for people, like we said, conformed sometimes, um, conventional, um, outward appearance, what you look like on the outside, um, external and internal, uh, personality, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual qualities. So emotional, spiritual, and in, in turn and uh, spiritual. So they all have that little ending. And uh, there was a girl I was teaching, was it last night? And she was having trouble with that ch sound. So intellectual. You guys want to try it? Intellectual. 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 Hmm. Asad? Intellectual. Okay. Now say emotional. Yeah, uh, teacher, can I say one thing? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Many times uh, <laughs> I try to be uh, uh, to stay relaxed when I read, but uh, when I when I read something, uh, I think in another place. Uh, I don't I don't attention to my my main purpose. When I read this text, I think in another place. Yeah, this is my mistake. How can control this? This I'm not telling you that you said these words wrong. You are okay yeah. when you say them. Yeah, my, but I'm my, just my, helping people. My purpose is that when I read something, I lose my attention. Well, I, I know what you're saying, because when we read, we try to read all the words correctly. We don't think as much about the meaning. It's really hard to read something very, very well and then remember what you read. <laughs> because, yeah. Especially Thank if it's you. in a different language. <clears throat> So yes, I understand. There's different parts of attention that you pay. So yeah, I yeah I plan to read uh, a novel. Yeah, a novel. I think that can fix. Yeah, that I I, I can. Uh, I think that can fix my problem in 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 reading and pronunciation. Well, that's one way. There's a lot of ways to fix your pronunciation. So yeah. the most important way is to read it for different reasons. So yeah. when I teach somebody how to read, I would say, um, read it the first time just to get familiar with the words. Just read it the first time to see what's making sense to you and what's not making sense. After you see it the first time and you pick out the words you don't know, like say you didn't know the word external, what does that mean? So you look it up in the dictionary or you look it up on uglish.com, which is an awesome site if you guys have not gone there yet. Um, and you look at it in context. So, um, Asad, I'm just going to sign you in since you haven't done it yet. Um, um, come on. Can you explain me what the meaning of uh, intellectual? Yes, it is what you think logically, your brain, your intellect. Um, that's intellectual. It's like your mind, your thinking mind. Um, mental. In, mental. Like, mental. Yeah, that's another way of saying it. Oh, okay. Um, that's intellectual. And Syed, you're in Afghanistan, right? Okay. So Uglish is the site I want to tell you guys about. Um, I've started using it for um, my students. Um, I teach English in America, and I have a lot of students that have trouble with different 
difficulty with different sounds or how to pronounce a word. And so if you go to youglish.com and you put anything in, you can find out the pronunciation of that word in different um, countries' accents. So you can say US accent, UK accent, Australian accent, and you can listen. Now, yesterday, Muhammad and I were talking about the fact that you should only learn one accent first. You can't learn all three accents and expect to understand them all. <laughs> so you should start with either American or British, probably. Um, and then later on, when you understand those, you can go to Australian or something like that. Um, it's fun to imitate. It's fun to like learn different varieties, just like Spanish. I mean, there's like so many varieties of Spanish countries that speak Spanish in different ways. Um, but you have to concentrate on one. And either the neutral one, the one you're going to, you know, that most people will understand, or else the one that is going to be in the country that you're going to, or the one that you like the best. So that would be my advice. Um, but let's give an example from youglish.com. Let me go there for a second and I'll look it up for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to screen share. Okay, so do you see here? <clears throat> Are you, oh yeah, we do need to have the sound. Okay. Yes. Um, so what word do you want me to look up? Give me a word. Should I look up the word beauty? Let's do that. Okay, so say it. One out of 23,000 ways to say it last night but like examples whew, what new forms of human beauty and human subjectivity will become possible as we create a new generation to realize you can always find a shock of beauty or meaning in what life you have left my drawings celebrate the beauty of what we all stand to lose I was talking about the beauty of free markets to solve our problems Truth, truth, beauty. What does it take perceptually to experience a work or an object of beauty? What is going on? What is the... Wow, that guy is good. I mean, he's very, very American and the way he speaks is just, you know, pretty cool. So let's do one more. What she discovered is beauty in its purest form. Okay, that's Why? exactly what, is your what we're talking about. What's your favorite beauty trend right now? I and love that is what we're minimal. not talking about. <laughs> 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 so the one before was real beauty. She washed her face and this is what was there. And this one is Kim Kardashian, who is the definition of fake beauty. <laughs> 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 so this is a perfect example of what the two sides of beauty are. And um, she says here, she loves minimal, soft, dewy makeup. This is an example of her dressed down, okay, when she's not in front of the cameras. But yeah, she is, she is definitely somebody we do not want to compare ourselves to because, you know, she's, she's known for the fact that she's kind of made up all the time. She's trying hard to show the, the fake definition of beauty. Any comments? Uh, yes, uh, I actually thought uh, that the <laughs> the Yuglish was going to just uh, say the words. <laughs> I got surprised with the sentences where they, yes. they say. Yes, yeah. and if you wanted to keep watching that video, you could. You could just keep going. But if you want to just hear that one word and the context, maybe the whole sentence, and then move on. With that blue button you can hear it over and over and over again so it's a really fascinating tool yes and one comment about the uh the subject before about reading it and i i remember when i was starting to to learn english i i have read uh a book of uh Agatha Christie in Portuguese. So to 
it was the one that I, I liked too much. So I started reading it uh, on English. Uh, so to, just to get to familiar, familiar, familiar. Like, familiar with the, the words. I, I remember the first time I read, I didn't make sense of anything. I just, I did know what was happening because I have read it before. But from the second time I read on English, I start to to comprehend all the yes. context and what what is really happening. <clears throat> and what book is this? And then there were none. Oh, okay. Yeah. So find a book in your language that you like, then find the English translation, and start transcribing from one language to the other. And this is actually called the story method. Some guy named Ollie Richards, he's really good at talking about the, the story method, how you read a story. And then you just read it, you see natural grammar, you see the way people talk, you see conversation, you see context, and you don't have to learn grammar and vocabulary outright. You just learn them within the context of the story. And that's a great way to learn English if you can do that. Any comments? All right, let's move on. <clears throat> sure. All right. And then the last word <clears throat> is acknowledge. I think that's a good one to learn. And successfully, that's a good one too. All right. So go for it, Chris. Real beauty is not to be compared to com con conventional beauty standard, but each to the one inner self. Your inner self is the person are inside. Real beauty is on the inside, which is more important than one's outward appearance. One looks good with internal looks, but it's no better in terms to external figures of personality, which is based on one's emotional, intellectual, and spiritual qualities. Inner beauty is something on which a person needs to pay attention because as he gets on with his life. All deeds and actions are drawn from the inner beauty since the need is to acknowledge and improve inner beauty to lead life successfully. All right. <clears throat> um, what is uh, this word right here? The one at the top. Um, conventional. conventional beauty teacher, conventional, yeah. beauty. conventional beauty. Okay, good. So... That is the Hollywood standard. <clears throat> That's what people normally think of. <clears throat> Even when I was young, okay, we watched con cartoons, all right? You watch, I don't know, Daffy Duck, the Flintstones. Those are American cartoons. There was a Flintstones cartoon the other day on some social media channel that I saw, and it was two minutes. I think it was on YouTube. And they said, even back then, um, Barney and Wilma are the one couple and Fred, no, Fred and what is it? Barney and Fred and Wilma and Barney and Pebbles. I don't remember. Right. There are two couples, right? And Betty. do you guys remember the names? Betty. Betty. Betty and, Betty and uh, who's the man's name? Barney. Betty and Barney. Barney. Okay. Betty and Barney. <clears throat> yeah. So we have Fred and Wilma and Betty and Barney, and they're getting uh, these women to give them their measurements and they come over and they're wearing fancy outfits and they're like, what do you think? And obviously they're pretending to be like movie producers or, you know, they're going to give them a job or something, but they didn't want to tell their wives that they were pretending to be movie producers. And this is on a cartoon. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so crazy that, you know, these big, fat, puffy, you know, cartoon guys are acting like they're like, you know, um, important guys to these young women. And it's just so funny because even back then, even in cartoons, you can have the idea of beauty being your measurements and the fancy clothes you wear. And I'm like, OK, there you go. Ten questions and 40 seconds. 
So who wants to try and do these 10 seconds and 40 questions? I mean, 10 questions in 40 seconds. Who wants to try? Victoria, you're smiling. I know you want to do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Can you answer? 10 questions in 40 seconds. Let's go. What country would you like to visit? What does FYI stand for? Okay, part of the game, part of the game is that you answer her right away. Right away, okay. Right away, like you cannot wait because she's gonna say the next question right away. I so if she it. asks you, what country do you wanna visit? You have to say it right away. Okay. I like games. I like games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they were so we're much going... about shoes. <laughs> I like this. All right. She's. <laughs> I'll give you as many people as a chance as possible. So here we go. Um, let's try it again. Ready, Victoria? Yes. Can you answer ten questions in forty seconds? Let's go. What country would you like to visit? Finland. What does FYI stand for? I don't know. What do you like the most about your know. city? When is your birthday? November What's 7th. What's the last movie you've seen? What's the last movie you've seen? Do you Seven prefer seven. paper books or e-books? What language am I speaking right now? English. What are your plans for this weekend? Uh, work. Your favorite social network. Instagram. Are you subscribed to my Lingua Marina channel on YouTube? I didn't. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> I know you uh, F Y I, but I don't know what uh, the letters mean. Okay. Does anybody else know what F Y I means? Yes, Renato. Uh, not me. <laughs> oh, yes. Asad, what does it mean? Wait, either one of you guys, tell me. It's very uh, useful in jobs. Asad uh -huh. knows it very well. Hi, Renato. <laughs> Hello, brother. Yeah, good. How are you, Juan? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys know what it means? F I F Y I. I know for, for, your, for your information. I you got it, Asad. For your information, Asad got it right. All right. So um, let's have the next person do it. Now you know that answer. You'll get that right right away. So who wants to do it next? Yes. Just, let's just say something. Uh, she asked about my birthday. It was yes. uh, next week. Last oh, week. Oh, yes. Wow. When, is, when is your birthday? Oh, everybody know. <laughs> Advance happy birthday. And, yes, happy birthday in advance. But what day no, is no, your birthday? It was, uh, it was uh, last week. I think. Last, oh, week, last week, not next week. Let it happen birthday. Last week. Last week. So we would say seven. happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. Yes. So how old are you? 29, 26, 29. 21, 29? 29. Nine. For real. Yes. That's great. So in America, um, older people, we like to say we're 29 all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so the I love that is... picture. <laughs> I, I, I just can't stop counting for now. <laughs> yes, you just don't count anymore. You just say I'm 29 again. <laughs> and so, yeah. So I'm 29 like 30 years ago. Oh, um, no, 20 years ago. All right. So, um, yeah, it's fun to say that. So, oh, I'm 29 again. All right. So, but you're really 29. That's awesome. All right. So, who wants to go next? Asad? Yes. All right. Here we go. Can you answer 10 questions in 40 seconds? Let's go. What country would you like to visit? Uh, what Sudan. does FYI stand for? Say it. Uh, for what your information. Most about your city? What about your city? When is your birthday? Uh, What's the last movie you've seen? 
Do you okay. prefer paper books or ebooks? What language am I speaking right now? What are your plans for this weekend? Uh, probably. What's your favorite social network? <laughs> What's your favorite social network? Are you subscribed to my Lingua Marina channel on YouTube? YouTube. How was it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Right. I feel like she goes too fast. Hey, yes, yes. I feel like, you know, and if you wanted to do this in a way that you could do it better, like say you were practicing English and you wanted to get good at your responses, what you would do is you would go to, let me get through the commercial. They're not the same. Can you answer? Okay, this is the secret right here. You find the place that says slow down. So you like the speed settings. Um, and then of course you turn on the subtitles, but right here, this is on my phone. See this right here? It says playback speed normal. So what you do is you go to playback speed and you change the speed. Yes. So you change it to like 75%. And now when we play her video, it will be better. All right. <clears throat> So should we give <clears throat> Assad another chance or do you want to move on to the next contestant? No, move on. Move on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Renato, would you like to go? Yes, yes, thank you. Let's, okay, let's try. this is the slowed down speed so you get double benefit because you've already heard it twice and you get the slowed down speed. So you should be able to get all of these. All right? Okay. Here we go. In 40 seconds, let's go. go. What can no. you answer? 10 questions in 40 seconds, let's go. What country would you like to visit? Uh, what does France. FYI stand for? For ER formation. What do you like the most about your city? Uh, the people. When is your birthday? March 18th. You've seen Matrix. Do you Matrix. prefer paper Matrix. books or ebooks? What mm, language both. am I speaking right now? English. What are your plans for this weekend? Today, work and later, watch a movie. What's your favorite social network? Facebook. Are you subscribed to my Lingua Marina channel on YouTube? Not yet. How That's was a good it? answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's much easier. Good job, Renato. Thank you. It's much easier. Yeah. You know, it's much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Renato. Thank you. It's much easier, you know, when it's, uh, it's lower. And also, I have a read, listen to the, the questions two times. That's exactly right. So, yeah. um, it is easier. Yeah. All right. So um, this is her channel, Lingua Marina. Um, she's from Russia. She is not American. And she has made a huge yeah. success yeah. out of this All channel. Right. So um, okay. I'm doing more on uh, Instagram. So you guys can look me up on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, I would love to see you there. And of course, my WhatsApp group. So look me up there if you want to continue to talk to me during the week. <clears throat> and I will see you guys next week.